Hi everyone. This is a very special video because this is the first time that I am diving deep into the structure of RBI in a way that I have never done before. Why exactly is it so special? Because this is the first time that I am going to tell you the life of an RBI officer in detail. Now, it is not going to matter to me whether you will be working with horses or donkeys. It's not going to matter to me whether you will get an ambassador or a Sias or a Mercedes for conveyance. It doesn't matter to me whether you will be getting newspaper allowance or not, whether you will be getting an iPad to work for the office or not. All these things become secondary when you become a part of an esteemed organization like Reserve Bank of India, which is the central bank of a country. It's an opportunity in itself to be able to work for something like this, for an organization or an institution like this. Therefore, if you're concerned about all these small, small things, and for you, this is the life of an RBI officer, then you can exit this video. You're going to be disappointed with what I'm going to discuss today. What exactly am I going to discuss today? You have, I'm assuming that you're somewhere in the range of 25, 26 years old. So you have a very good 30 to 35 to 40 years in front of you. Now, this is almost one and a half times of the amount of time that was spent on earth. And you should not be spending it in the fear that you will lose your job or will you be getting good enough allowances or not. Instead, we should be spending it in the hope that we find a true calling and whatever we do solves a purpose on this planet. So that is going to be the central point of this discussion. By understanding the structure and the functioning of RBI, we'll try and understand once you enter into RBI as an officer, what exactly are you going to do? enter What all opportunities will you get? What all areas will you touch? And how through those areas you will have an opportunity to transform the lives of millions of people on this planet, including India. So first of all, let's try and understand how RBI works and how you will be working as a part of Reserve Bank of India if selected. There are seven wings, or I would like to call them seven eagles of RBI, through which RBI tries to understand the economic landscape of this country and tries to monitor the economic dimensions of this country. Whatever is happening in India as well as internationally, these seven eagles try to keep an keep a sight of everything. So you will be working as a part of any of these seven wings. So you will be under one of these eagles, so to say. What are these seven wings? Let's first of all have a list of these. Then we will try and understand what will you be doing under these seven wings. There is banking wing. Now, if you even if you think as a layman, you can probably figure out majority of these wings. So RBI does banking, is involved in banking, regulation of banks, supervision of banks, managing the uh, banking of the state governments, the central government, uh, dealing with banks. So all of that comes under banking. Secondly, currency, paisa. That is the major role of RBI. So that will be a wing. Training. Now, whatever RBI does, RBI does through people. So it also has to train those people, human resources. So that is going to be a wing. Development wing. It is not only going to manage whatever is happening in economic part of India, it also has to be futuristic in nature, right? So all of that is done through development wing. Then there is financial markets wing. Now, RBI is not just involved in banking or in currency. It is also deeply entrenched with the financial markets, with, with what SEBI does, with what goes in capital markets with what goes in international financial markets. So that is a wing, monetary policy. Now, determining what should be the supply of money. That is one of the major functions of RBI. So there's a separate wing of that. And finally, we have administrative wing. Administrative wing is the maintenance wing of RBI. And we'll talk about that in detail. It's also a very interesting wing. So eagles. these are the seven eyes that RBI has. And through these seven eyes, it tries to keep track of everything that goes in the economy 
both India as well as outside India. As a part of RBI, as an officer, you will be a part of any of these wings. You might also be asked to jump from one wing to another. So you will have also have an opportunity to move from currency to manage to banking or to monetary policy. It depends on your performance, your interest, as well as the opportunities that you gather. So now you have basic basic understood. You must have understood the basics of how you are going to live your life as an officer in RBI. You will be working in any of these areas. So it's a lot of diversity that you have at hand, which is a great thing. Now let's get deeper into these wings and try and understand what exactly will you be doing as a part of banking wing or currency wing or monetary policy wing. Let's start with banking. I'm using a notebook because it's a long list and it has a lot to do, of course. I have to create notes and explain them to you. The first one is Department of Regulation. So RBI, of course, we've understood. You must have read it also, Regulation and Supervision, major activities of RBI. So as a part of Department of Regulation, Department of Regulation works through office notes, wherein there are certain rules and regulations that have already been created. There are certain rules and regulations that are being created for the banks. So you are either creating those new rules or monitoring the present rules and regulations. And through office notes to a written format, you are giving reports to your seniors. And your seniors are then making decisions. If you become a senior tomorrow, you will then be making decisions on whether regulation is going perfectly or not. This happens for regulated entities, which includes banks, NBFCs, all kinds of financial institutions in the country. So this is one of the major functions of RBI. And this happens under the banking wing called as regulation. Second is supervision. Supervision is day to day supervision or annual supervision of what the bank is actually doing. Is it following these rules? If, even if it is following, is, is it actually successful in its business or not? If not, what is wrong? There are two parts of supervision. There is online supervision and off-site off, off supervision. On-site, off-site. In on-site, you actually go to the head office of a bank and you inspect the books of that bank. And in off-site, the banks send you, regularly send you certain reports and certain financial statements and you regularly inspect those books while you are sitting in RBI itself. You are not going to their head office. So, while sitting in your office itself, you're inspecting their books regularly and then you're sending a report to your senior who in turn is then communicating with that bank. So this is called a supervision. This is a very powerful department because you are supervising all the banks in the country. So supervision may on-site, off-site may experience play. Very interesting department to work in. Okay. This is the second department under banking. Tisra Ajata enforcement department. Enforcement department ka objective hai penalties dena. So basically it is like the principal of a school. Kuch galat hua, the teacher is there to check on you whether you're doing everything right or not. If something wrong has happened, the teacher reports to the principal, then the principal penalizes you. Murga bana dete that is what the enforcement department does. Wo murga banane ka kaam karta hai. Okay. Koi bhi violation hoga, so enforcement department will become active and then it will decide what should be the penalty. Last under banking, we have financial stability unit. Now what happens is internationally as well as nationally, a lot is going on in the financial system. There are always certain reports and certain fears that a financial crisis aa sakta hai, something might go wrong. So proactively having a look at what the financial system, in which direction is the financial system going? And if there is a crisis situation, resolving that proactively, whatever is possible, that, that becomes a part of financial stability unit. Basically, you are involved in maintaining the financial stability of India. Let me give you a very good example. 2008 financial crisis, everybody knows about it. Very few people know that before 2008 crisis, India already had some hint in advance that something like this is going on and the housing market of India might also be in bubble. So proactively, the re reason India was isolated to some extent from the financial crisis was because its housing market did not collapse. 
why it did not collapse was because RBI intervened proactively. Even before 2008, RBI recognized that something is wrong. So it increased, uh, it basically made it more difficult for people to borrow for housing. It became more difficult for people to borrow and invest in housing. That automatically made the housing bubble small, did not allow it to grow. And that is how India was saved to some extent from the financial crisis of 2008. India did not have a housing collapse like United States or Europe had. So this was or must have been even I don't know, must have been an act of financial stability unit. That is what this unit does. So you are working with the future. That is the advantage of working in this unit. That is what you are going to be doing. You will be surveilling the financial system regularly and you will be creating financial stability reports. Jaise ki abhi Hindenburg report came out and there was a fear that the entire financial market might collapse because of Adani's collapse. A lot of such things keep happening. Artificial intelligence is coming in. A lot of jobs are being lost. RBI must be working. The financial stability unit must be working on what is going to be the impact of such revolution in the entire world and how can we stabilize our country financially. Okay, so it's a very interesting and a very futuristic department. So this is what happens in the banking uh, wing of RBI. Second important wing is currency. Now, currency mein kya kya aata hai? Sabse pehle issue karoge currency, withdraw karoge currency, currency mein farzi na ho. I hope you've seen the series farzi about counterfeit currency. So, wo bhi manage karna currency department ka kaam hai. Currency is not just in paper, currency is also in digital form. So that is payment and settlement systems that also becomes a part of currency. Ab currency ki jab baat hoti hai, there are accounts of banks with RBI, there are accounts of government with RBI. Maintaining those also are a part of currency department. Currency is also involved when we are dealing with foreign exchange. So foreign exchange bhi par a gaya. And finally, fintech, which is a new area that RBI is getting into, that also is a part of currency department or currency wing. So, the first department of currency wing ka, that is department of currency management. Uske andar, under this, you will be issuing notes, you will be withdrawing notes, you will be designing the notes, you will be printing the notes, you will be supplying the notes, maintaining a certain supply in the economy of actual currency. You will be trying to check counterfeit currency, kahan se aa rahi hai, kyun aa rahi hai, how do we stop it? You will also be monitoring currency chests because how do you supply, how does RBI supply currency in the entire economy through currency chests which are maintained by banks. So it will be your job to monitor these currency chests. Is it going or not? Quality is it? How much money is kept? What is limit? All those small small things and big things. Okay. What are the security features in banknotes? What additional security features can be introduced in banknotes? in order to ensure that counterfeit currency is minimized. Uh, you must have seen all those reports on Aajtak, etc, etc, talking about the chip in banknotes now. All of that was BS, of course, but the act, the uh, purpose of RBI is to come out with such advanced features. It might be chip, it might be something else. Nobody knows that. Okay. Then we have second department of payment and settlement systems, which basically is involved in formulating policies and authorizing various operators in foreign in payment and settlement system. For example, authorizing visa to work under payment and settlement system as an operator, authorizing MasterCard or deauthorizing MasterCard, something that happened last year. Regulating all these payment and settlement system institutions and organizations, uh, supervising them, creating standards. Ki bhaiya, <coughs> for example, if some transaction has happened through UPI, uh, through let's say Paytm, then how much can they charge? Something like that. So those are all standards that are created under payment and settlement system. Integrating payment systems, for example, right now I can use any uh, UPI, any wallet and transfer money to any other wallet. That was not a reality about one and a half years back, but now it's so easy. So that is what RBI does as a part of payment and settlement systems department. Very, very interesting and very futuristic again. Then we have the Forex department, which is 
बेसिकली इन्वॉल्व इन प्रोवाइडिंग अप्रूवल्स फॉर फॉरन एक्सचेंज जो भी फॉरन एक्सचेंज होता है इंडिया से पैसा बाहर जा रहा है मनी कमिंग इन टू इंडिया इन डॉलर्स और इन समर करेंसी दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ फॉरेक्स डिपार्टमेंट ओके वन मेजर वर्क अंडर आरबीआई विच यू विल बी डूइंग एज अ पार्ट ऑफ करेंसी विंग इज मेंटेनिंग अकाउंट्स ऑफ बैंक विद आरबीआई एंड दी अकाउंट्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट विद आरबीआई सो वेरियस बैंक हैव सी आर आर एंड एस एल आर एंड वेरियस अदर यू नो वेरियस अदर काइंड ऑफ वर्क विद आरबीआई रेगुलरली द फोर्थ डेट वी हैव इज द फॉरेक्स डिपार्टमेंट अब फॉरेक्स में क्या क्या आ जाएगा करेंसी खाली इंडियन करेंसी नहीं होती है वी ऑल्सो हैव फॉरन एक्सचेंज वी ऑल्सो हैव डॉलर्स कमिंग इन टू इंडिया वी ऑल्सो हैव रूपी गोइंग आउट ऑफ इंडिया सो वेरियस अप्रूवल्स फॉर फॉरन एक्सचेंज ट्रांजेक्शन इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई फॉरेक्स डिपार्टमेंट इसका मेजर काम होता है पूरे फॉरन एक्सचेंज को मैनेज करना इन द लास्ट वन इज फिनटेक डिपार्टमेंट विच इज इन्वॉल्व बेसिकली इन न्यू फाइनेंशियल टेक्नोलॉजीज इसमें बहुत ज्यादा अभी आरबीआई ने अपने वेबसाइट पर नहीं दिया है बट वी ऑल नो that anything related to new financial technologies comes under fintech department ab currency ke baad this is what happens in the currency department currency wing we have uh, instead of going to financial markets wing i would want to go to monetary policy wing first monetary policy ka kya major role hai managing supply of money in the economy so that inflation is controlled growth is also maintained to monetary policy department mein aap kya karoge ya wing mein kya karoge you will basically be involved with the monetary policy committee that is going to be your first role second ab monetary policy aise hi to nahi banate there is a lot of research involved so you will also be involved in carrying out that research third there are a lot of statistics involved in coming to some conclusion ki bhai monetary policy kaisi rakhe should it be expansive should it be uh, you know should we try and increase interest rates or reduce interest rates all of that it is dependent upon stats so you might also be involved in that department jahan pe statistics pe focus hoga and then there is the international department which is focused upon financial diplomacy and economic cooperation inko ek ek karke samajh lete hain if you are a part of monetary policy wing then the first department is monetary policy department under this department you will be focused upon uh, helping out the monetary policy committee to decide whatever should be done in the next two months to jitna bhi assistance chahiye monetary policy committee ko wo aapko dena hai jitne bhi whatever technical inputs they need you have to give them whatever monetary policy is decided and released by the committee implementing that is also your job okay and finally monitoring the monetary policy transmission कि भाई हमने मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी बनाई उसका ट्रांसमिशन अच्छे से हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है दैट इज आल्सो योर जॉब ओके सेकंड वी हैव फाइनेंशियल मार्केट रेगुलेशन डिपार्टमेंट नाउ व्हेन वी कम टू फाइनेंशियल मार्केट विंग वी विल सी कि एक फाइनेंशियल मार्केट ऑपरेशंस डिपार्टमेंट है यहां पर यू हैव अ रेगुलेशन डिपार्टमेंट सो क्रिएटिंग रूल्स फॉर द फाइनेंशियल मार्केट विच इंक्लूड गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट मनी मार्केट फॉरन एक्सचेंज मार्केट डेरिवेटिव मार्केट इनके जब जितने भी रूल्स बनने हैं दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मार्केट रेगुलेशन डिपार्टमेंट इफ यू एंड अप वर्किंग इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट आप ये सारे रूल्स देखोगे वेदर दीज मार्केट्स आर फॉलोइंग दीज रूल्स और नॉट वेदर वी नीड न्यू रूल्स और नॉट न्यू रूल्स चाहिए तो क्या होंगे वो ऑल ऑफ दैट विल बी योर वर्क देर आर टू मेजर डिपार्टमेंट्स अंडर टू मोर मेजर डिपार्टमेंट्स इन द मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी विंग विच आर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एंड पॉलिसी रिसर्च डीपी आर एंड डीएसआई उसके लिए अलग से वैकेंसीज आती हैं। इफ यू आर पार्ट ऑफ डायरेक्ट रिक्रूटमेंट यू विल नॉट बी इन्वॉल्व इन दीज टू बट इफ यू आर सिलेक्टेड थ्रू डीपीआर और डीएसआईएम देन यू विल बी इन्वॉल्व इन दीज टू डीपीआर का क्या रोल है कैरिंग आउट रिसर्च इकोनॉमिक रिसर्च फॉर क्रिएटिंग पॉलिसीज बाय आर इन द फ्यूचर जो भी रिसर्च करनी है जो भी मेजर रिपोर्ट बनानी है वो काम डीपीआर का होता है टू फिगर आउट what can be the macroeconomic challenges in the future and then to also provide ways to deal with those challenges inflation bad raha hai dpr department will carry out the research and tell all other departments bhai inflation bad raha hai this is what you should be doing that is why it is a part of monetary policy wing because major jo rbi ka role hai jo bhi financial challenges ya banking ke challenges they deal karna hai that is done by monetary policy wing 
the department of dsim is involved in managing the statistics for rbi jitna bhi sara stats aata hai data aata hai organizing that coming out with some conclusion based upon that stats that is a part of department of statistics under monetary policy wing it is also involved in developing methods for creating estimates yaar bahut sara data aaya organize to kar liya now how do we how do we read such data how do we understand and come to a conclusion based upon all this data that comes under developing different methods okay and finally is the international department which is very very interesting because yahan pe aap you will be involved in economic uh, cooperation as well as financial diplomacy with various other nations so alag alag desho ke sath regularly discuss karna so that because you know that whatever they do also has an impact on your organization isliye ye ensure karna ki wo jo kar rahe hain that does not impact india negatively too much if it does communicating with them डिप्लोमेसी करना उनके साथ दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल डिपार्टमेंट सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्ट इन समथिंग लाइक दैट यू कैन ट्राई एंड बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल डिपार्टमेंट लेट अस नाउ हैव अ लुक एट द फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स विंग एक और ईगल के पास जाते हैं व्हिच इज फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स विंग के अंदर दो मेजर डिपार्टमेंट्स आपको देखने को मिलेंगे डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एक्सटर्नल इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड ऑपरेशन एंड फाइनेंशियल मार्केट ऑपरेशन डिपार्टमेंट अभी हमने देखा था वी जस्ट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मार्केट रेगुलेशन डिपार्टमेंट रेगुलेशन वहां पे हो गया रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस वहां पे बन गए उसको ऑपरेशंस यहां पे होगा दिस डिपार्टमेंट लुक्स आफ्टर ऑपरेशंस ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स ओपन मार्केट ऑपरेशंस लिक्विडिटी एडजस्टमेंट फैसिलिटी गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटी मार्केट मनी मार्केट फॉरेक्स मार्केट नॉमिनल इफेक्टिव एक्सचेंज रेट रियल इफेक्टिव एक्सचेंज रेट ये सब फिगर आउट करना मैनेज करना ऑपरेट करना दिस इज द एक्टिविटी ऑफ और रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मार्केट डिपार्टमेंट ऑपरेशन डिपार्टमेंट तो इफ यूर अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस डिपार्टमेंट बेसिकली आप फिगर आउट करोगे कि मैं नॉमिनल इफेक्टिव एक्सचेंज रेट डेली बेसिस पे क्या है और क्यों ऐसा है वॉट इज द मेथड दैट यू फॉलो इज इट फाइन और नॉट रियल इफेक्टिव एक्सचेंज रेट किस डायरेक्शन में जा रहा है गिविंग आउट रिपोर्ट रेगुलरली बेस्ड अपॉन दी स्टडीज टू द कंसर्न डिपार्टमेंट ये सब आपका काम होने वाला है ओके सेकेंड है हमारा एक्सटर्नल इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड ऑपरेशन डिपार्टमेंट इसमें आप क्या करोगे फॉरन करेंसी जो है उसको मैनेज करना यूएस डॉलर कितना इंडिया में आ रहा है कितना बाहर जा रहा है उसका मैनेजमेंट काम सेंटर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट ऑपरेशन फाइनेंशियल मार्केट विंग इज ऑल अबाउट ऑपरेशन यहाँ पे एक्चुअल काम होता है यहाँ पे रिसर्च कम होती है काम ज्यादा होता है जितने भी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया के एक्सटर्नल ट्रांजेक्शन है उनको मैनेज करना इज अ रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ दिस डिपार्टमेंट फाइनेंशियल मार्केट विंग के अंदर एक्सटर्नल इन्वेस्टमेंट डिपार्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया वॉन्ट्स टू बोरो सम मनी फ्रॉम एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक so actually getting it done will be the responsibility of this department okay so this is what happens in the financial market wing ab to choti choti wings dekh lete hain to training wing hai if you are a part of training wing then you are concerned about training of the rbi officers ek to jo new recruits hain and whatever oldies are there regular training and development of those people so what is involved in this maintaining all the training institutes and then devising their curriculum and revising their curriculum regularly that is your primary job so for example rbi has various colleges ya fir institutes staff college hai chennai mein agricultural banking ka ek college hai pune mein rbi academy hai institute of development and research in banking technology hai it is creating more and more institutes day after day in sab ko maintain karna plus to ensure that the curriculum that they have is actually relevant uh, from the point of view of rbi as an organization wo aapka kaam hone wala hai okay then we have the development wing ab development wing mein do major departments hain one is financial inclusion and development financial development and financial inclusion and second is customer or consumer awareness and consumer education for example amitabh bachan ji Uh, creates ads for RBI. What is that? That is the activity, or that is the decision of this development wing. Uske andar ek department hai consumer education and protection department. Usne decide kiya hoga ki yar Amitabh ji ko approach karte hain aur unko bolte hain ki aap ek ad banwaiye and then implementing that. So, kal ko if you want to decide, let's move out Amitabh ji. Let's have some somebody young, uh, Deepika Padukone or Shahrukh Khan or somebody else to actually do that. 
so that more people are interested, more young people are interested in watching that. Decisions like that, on a funny note, that is the role of consumer education department. So, ombudsman scheme, ko dekhna, whether it is doing well or not, handling various complaints uh, and uh, whatever complaints are coming and giving feedback to the integrated ombudsman here is let's do something so that these complaints don't, don't don't happen again don't come back again okay various consumer awareness campaigns jo maine amitabh ji wala example diya all this is a role and part of consumer education department uske baad aata hai hamara financial inclusion and development department the priority sector lending whether it is doing well or not uski report banana dekhna ki ye sahi se chal raha hai ki nahi msmes very important for development of any nation are we giving enough funds to msmes or not financial inclusion whether it is happening to the required level or not ye sara kaam hota hai financial inclusion and development department ka which comes under development very very important because this is connected with the roots of this nation okay so if you end up working here to aap ye kaam karne wale last hamara jo department bacha hai wo bacha hai hamara administrative department What I ha- whatever happens in RBI comes under administrative department, and this is very interesting. Which in me se wings aapko boring lagenge kuch departments, but a lot of departments are very interesting. Yes, see there is department of communication. Department of communication ka kam kya? Whatever you see on RBI website, whatever PR campaigns come in, whatever uh, news summary and conferences RBI carries out, all of that is done by department of communication. Communicating. the linking pin between rbi and the people between rbi and the government that is communications department so very important department then there is legal department premises department raj bhasha basically translation department ek aur bahut important department yahan pe corporate strategy and budget department this is the mom of the household of rbi mom ki responsibility kya hoti hai expenditure management paisa unko milta hai uske baad उनका काम है इंश्योर करना कि भाई बड़े लड़के को पंद्रह सौ रुपए पॉकेट मनी मिलेगी एंड दी अदर केड विल गेट ओनली थाउजेंड रुपीज पॉकेट मनी दैट काइंड ऑफ मैनेजमेंट शी डस दिस इज वॉट कॉर्पोरेट स्ट्रेटेजी एंड बजट डिपार्टमेंट डज इट मैनेजेस द बजट ऑफ आरबीआई अभी रिसेंटली न्यूज केम आउट ऑफ डिविडेंट कि इतना आरबीआई ने डिविडेंट दिया है कॉर्पोरेट स्ट्रैटेजी एंड बजट डिपार्टमेंट दैट इज वॉट फाइनलाइज इट ओके सो फॉर्मुलेटिंग द बजट funding of various institutes of rbi that also is the responsibility of this department ek aur department hai yahan pe inspection department jo bhi rbi ke operations ho rahe hain whether they are happening efficiently or not inspecting all the operations happening inside rbi uske liye bhi humne ek department bana diya hai which is called as inspection department very very interesting because this is like a, a, a regular audit that is happening inside rbi itself यार आपके ऑपरेशन सफिशिएंटली चल रहे हैं नहीं चल रहे अब करप्शन के केसेस आरबीआई में कम होते हैं बट देर आर चांसेस इफ यू आर इन सुपरविजन डिपार्टमेंट इन्वॉल्व इन ऑन साइट सुपरविजन देन सम पीपल माइट वुड वांट टू बी करप्ट देयर थोड़ा पैसा कमा लेते हैं फॉर दैट देर इज अ विजिलेंस डिपार्टमेंट दिस विजिलेंस डिपार्टमेंट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस विंग एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव विंग तो विजिलेंस डिपार्टमेंट का रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है to make sure that activities like corruption are not happening inside rbi okay to ye hamare ho gaye alag alag departments rbi ke what was my purpose of discussing these departments to help you understand what will you be doing as an officer in rbi gaadi to mil hi jayegi ghoda to mil hi jayega ghar ghar bhi mil jayega if not 2 bhk then 1 bhk if not 3 bhk then 2 bhk theek hai na newspaper nahi milega आईपैड नहीं मिलेगा तो न्यूज़पेपर मिल जाएगा सो यू विल गेट समथिंग ऑफ द अदर यू विल नॉट हैव टू वरी अबाउट लिविंग अ डिसेंट स्टेबल कंफर्टेबल लाइफ इफ यू आर एक्चुअली थिंकिंग अबाउट लिविंग अ पर्पसफुल लाइफ फॉर द नेक्स्ट 30 इयर्स देन अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि भाई मैं आरबीआई में जाने के बाद करूंगा क्या व्हाट विल आई बी डूइंग आफ्टर एंटरिंग आरबीआई दैट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दैट वाज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस सेशन टू हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट ओके If you like this session, don't forget to share it with everyone you know. Why? Because it is not creating competition. It is just trying to create awareness amongst people that if they really want to 
get into RBI themselves or want to send someone they know into RBI, so you at least pata hona you should have clarity about what you are going to do as an officer in RBI. Okay? You can share it with your father, with your mother, so that they also know ki bhai, mera jo padhai kar rahe, usme jane ke baad karega kya? What will he or she be doing after entering into RBI? It is not just about job security, it is not just about a government job, it is about your purpose as an individual on this earth and how by being a part of this great institution, you are going to fulfill some of that. Okay. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. I will see you very soon. Till then, take care, keep studying hard and keep following various marathon sessions that are happening on YouTube regularly for you guys. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye. Jai.